I mean, Ray Nagin is no Rudy Giuliani. We needed a Rudy Giuliani in the first few days. We needed a good governor in the first few days. And most of all, we need to have some hum You talk about humility, Bill. Let's have some humility in the face of nature. This was a gigantic storm. We can't assume that we're going to be able to make yeah. everything good it, right it, away. It, I can't imagine that Rudy Giuliani could have done a single thing without support from the federal government. Maybe he Ray would have had Nagin, some buses there Ray to Nagin evacuate was people. In the city. Ray Nagin never left New Orleans. He's in the city begging for help, and help didn't come. R we Ray Nagin was expect... incommunicado for almost three days we... because his phones failed. He didn't even have a phones system. Phones failed in New York. To be fair, this was like Bill Maher when he was more based, okay? When he was saying fucking crazy shit. For those of you who are like, uh, saying like I can't believe Bill Maher got to share a space with George Carlin or whatever, but like this was you know, he was nowhere near as like fucking smarmy and annoying as he is now, like the fucking annoying boomer guy who thinks he knows everything. But Rudy Giuliani to got to where he needed to go. Okay. Yeah, Jim, Jim, calm down, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> you began to say you began a sentence a little while ago with it, it, it's not a surprise. It shouldn't be a surprise. It shouldn't be a surprise that rich white men don't care about poor black people, period. So they're not oh, high that's on their it. list. That they're is not high George. on their list. George, they're I not love you, high. George, they're not that's I don't nonsense. care if you love me or not. That's they're nonsense. not high on the conscious or the no, subconscious list of those people who are in charge of things in this country. The owners, forget these, these foolish elections, the owners of this country don't care about the poor in general. The owners and they of this don't country, care about what are we going... Wait, wait, you, is this t Karl Marx talking to me? The owners of this country are no. the voters of this uh, country. You're wrong. Uh, owned. Look at him. Oh, is this Karl Marx? Dude, why is that a fucking diss? Like, what a fucking psychotic world do we live in where it's like, wow, dude, is this Karl Marx talking? The only way that that fucking statement is considered a diss is if you have a century of fucking propaganda. Okay? That's it. That's the only way that you can use that as a diss. And with, like, not a single person fucking uh, uh, knowing anything about Karl Marx. By design. And the only thing they know about him is that he's a bad guy. And he's responsible for, you know, hundreds, uh, millions, billions, hundreds of billions of people dead. Wrong about that, my friend. Are, are, aren't the owners in this country the voters in this country no, who no, elected they're, George no, they're Bush? Not. Listen, politics. These elections are a charade. It is a charade. Oh, okay. It is. It is. They are meant to. Well, I'll tell you. Listen. Just listen for a minute. Learn a little something. The ele elections and politicians are in place in order to give Americans the illusion that they have freedom of choice. Oh. You don't really have choice in this country. Well, and well, as long as you're brought up the racial issue, I have to tell you, I. There's a friend of mine who lives in New Orleans, is black, and I wrote down exactly, word for word, what she said, because I think it bears repeating. She said, after 9-11, I was American, now I'm back to being black. Mm -hmm. And I think mm -hmm. among the feathers in George Bush's resume is that I think he has lost a whole generation of black people who might have felt that way after 9-11, and now are like, you know what, I can't believe I started to buy into that bullshit. And I think... We're going to have to see a so generation cool. of black people who were born after the great fuck-up of 2005 mm -hmm. before they started believing in America like they started to after 9-11. Yeah. So, Bill, I, so Bill is the, I just want to be clear on this. So the point is that George Bush did not care about African Americans in That's New right. Orleans. That's right. He let them die. That's right. As opposed in to the Jer mayor of New Orleans, who didn't even stock the Superdome with food, who, didn't, who is an African American himself, who didn't provide buses so that people could evacuate. Oh, it's awesome. It's, it's like, dude, that is Caucasian activity right there, dude. Hey, we talk about white culture, but like straight up, one of the greatest examples of white culture, which is not a tangible concept, but this is like the closest you can get to it, is immediately finding a black person to blame. <laughs> like literally. Yeah, no. What about black on black violence in the form of the black mayor? Fucking owned. You know what I mean? Yeah, get fucked, dude. Yeah, that's right. Destroyed. Black on black governmental mismanagement. Yeah, exactly. That's great. That's that's sick, dude. That's thank you. Thank you. That was cool. Thank you, Wade. And George W. Bush is, the, is, of course, the first president of the United States to appoint... Which, by the way, like, you can literally flip that logic in its head.
Like, if you understand that the mayor has, like, uh, I don't know, any kind of power over a fucking area in the aftermath, in the immediate aftermath of a natural disaster, then what the fuck do you think the president has? If anything, it's like, that's the full thing. What do you think FEMA is, dog? What the fuck? It straight up was created specifically by merging all of these other fucking federal agencies together, okay? Just cramming them into one another so that they could manage fucking times of natural disaster and crises like this. Literally controlled by the federal government. An African-American oh, as Secretary of State. First of all, and another African-American oh, as Secretary my, of State. My, 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 my. And there are people much oh, like what, George Bush in terms of class. Oh, oh there I are. Don't, I don't think so it's the a race matter. doesn't matter. I don't know. It's class I, that matters. I, I think class. that back Clay... <laughs> Dude. Dude, conservative guy being like, uh, you're a class reductionist, sweaty. Wow. How about doing a little bit less class reductionism? Wow. Wow, can't believe it. Wow. Yeah, yeah, of course class matters, man. Karl Marx again. Class Karl Marx race again. Are inseparable in America. I think it is impossible. It is impossible to Orleans. talk about class in America without talking about the fact that the preponderance of black there are black people in this country are still disproportionately poor. It is also impossible to talk about what happened in New Orleans without some white conservatives focusing on the looting, the crime, instead of focusing on the vast majority of poor black people who were law-abiding, who were frightened themselves. But when many, many white- Also, like, who gives a fuck about the looting, dude? It's called survival, okay? Like, 100%. Every movie- not to do, like, movie mindset shit here, but, like, every fucking movie, if the world is falling apart, if there's a zombie apocalypse, you never see motherfuckers who are like, uh, excuse me, sir, perhaps we should not be looting this Rite Aid at this very moment because, uh, I don't know, I mean, it's societal collapse, they're trying to survive, dude! What the fuck do you mean? That's not a thing, dude. Which, by the way, Katrina is a perfect example of this. In the same natural disaster, there were images of white people being considered surviving as they were looting versus black people uh, uh, doing the exact same thing and it was considered looting. Which Kanye West adequately pointed to. I have watched that clip so many fucking times on this broadcast. Please stop spamming it. Yes. George W. Bush doesn't care about black people and also on top of that, uh, the, the, he said exactly that, what I'm talking about. Americans see something like what went on in New Orleans with a few black criminals getting and, and completely even, out of then, control. Let, they think, oh, that's the way black people look, behave. And, and let me ask you this about the looting. Would you agree that there was two kinds of looting? That there was the kind where people were desperate because they were starving and maybe were taking food out of a store. And then there were some people who were taking stereo equipment. Yeah. Would I mean, you agree that there was two kinds of Yeah, movies? people were walking away with television sets. Okay, but, but, but would you agree them, that there were... There was no there was, oh, Wait. Who cares, bro? Who cares? Who cares? They're fucking... They're poor. Their state... Their state of existence is quite literally fucking awful regardless of a... The, the, the wrath of... of uh, uh, the wrath of God fucking destroying their homes, okay? Who gives a shit? Understand that no one is motivated to steal fucking stereos and and uh, TVs and shit unless they're that fucking desperate. Yelling at 2005 Bill Law. No, but this is an attitude that still exists, man. This is an attitude that is still 100% a fucking, uh, a real, real thing that people believe in, okay? It's like, why do you think people steal stereo equipment? You think they want to fucking listen to jams when there's no fucking electricity? They steal it because they need money, okay? They need money to buy things because everyone else is fucking price gouging them. They need to steal shit because they're fucking poor so they can buy fucking food. It's such a weird thing that people are always like, oh, well, they're still in Gucci bags. Yeah, motherfucker, you know how many... You know how many fucking... <laughs> you know how many incredibly important items for survival you can purchase with one fucking Gucci bag when you sell it? It's the same size as a fucking loaf of bread, but you can buy a thousand loaves of bread with it. 
That's why you steal the Gucci bag. Because if you were to steal a Gucci bag worth of loaves of bread, the bread would go bad. It would expire by the time you fucking went through it. Also, last time I checked, you couldn't pay fucking rent with a, with a loaf of bread, but you certainly can with a Gucci bag. And for the record, theft like this, okay, theft like this is an indication of societal collapse, is an indication of societal failure. Okay? That's why it's happening. That's why it's happening. And that's why it makes you feel angry and wrong. You're like, what the fuck? You're violating the social contract. Hold on, you're stealing shit. Wait a minute, don't do that. That's fucked up. I've been told that that's not right to do, and it's not right to do. Okay? It's not, certainly. But what the fuck else are you supposed to do? What are you supposed to do? It's failed. It shouldn't take... <laughs> It shouldn't take a fucking, uh, the theft of your, your favorite storefront, uh, or your favorite storefront breaking for you to recognize societal collapse. You agree that there was those two kinds of looting? Yes. Okay. Well, then is it not wrong? Man, is this liberty slow? Once stealing enters organized crime levels, there's like 50 people raiding a store just for profits? What profits, brother? What do you mean? Who, what do you think the 50 people raiding the store are doing it for? Like, why do you think they're stealing those guys? The guys that they are stealing for? My man said profits, dude. Anyway, now we're, we're, we're mixing and matching here because we're talking about like fucking profits during uh, Hurricane Katrina. Of course not. For the president to issue an ultimatum that there was zero tolerance and thereby encourage his right wing flax in the liberal media to go ahead and say this gives us license to suggest that we shoot people on sight as if in the middle of this crisis where so many people are dying already what we need to do is shoot Tyrone because he's getting out of Circuit City with some soggy tweeters <laughs> and I <laughs> and uh, I don't think Tyrone always had soggy tweeters quite frankly I, I have an addendum to that the real looting in this country takes place in the transfer of the wealth from the poor to the rich. I'm sorry that you don't like class and the truth, my friend, but you're just stuck with it. I'm a, class I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, and the poor have been systematically looted in this country. The rich have been made richer under this. I'm gonna run that. I'm gonna run that back again. I'm sorry. Sorry. What is he saying? That's crazy. Place in the transfer of the wealth huh. from the poor to the rich. I'm sorry that you don't like class and the truth, my friend, but you're just stuck with it. I'm a, I'm class a, I'm a, I'm a, and the poor have been systematically looted in this country. The rich have been made richer under this criminal fascist president and his government. Okay, 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 okay. You know, George, George you, I think you know, do you know what fascism is? Fascism, you know what fascism is? America, you know know what Nazis wear, are? Wear, no, wait, yeah. sir, wait, you sir. When fascism are? comes you know to America, it will are? not be in brown and black shirts. It will not be oh. with jack boots. It will be Nike sneakers and smiley shirts. Smiley, smiley. The, the, the fascism... <laughs> Germany lost the Second World War. Fascism won it. Believe and actually, me, my friend. fascism is when corporations become the government. Yes. And that's sort of what we have. And Dude, what the fuck? Even Bill Maher. What? What? Bill, what? What do you mean, dog? Now this dumbass thinks corporations controlling the government is just about like getting mad at Bill on Twitter for fucking saying some dumb shit. Ha Where is this guy, dude? Yeah. Oh, corporations controlling the government. Yeah, that's fucked up, right? That's crazy. Yeah, that's that is fascism. You he's right. A consolidation of corporate power. Hmm, that's crazy. What the fuck? It's almost like forgetting two top of the hour ad breaks in a row, dude. What the fuck is going on with me? That's the that's the real authoritarian streak in me, if we're being honest. Okay? Two top of the hour ad breaks in a row, lost, forgotten, in the dust. Fear not. The only way to avoid those top of the hour ad breaks is by subscribing for five dollars or for free with a Twitch Prime. By connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account, you get one free Prime subscription a month. Okay? Or by getting gifted a sub, like what Lemmy Cobra just did. Yeah, that's another, that's another uh, transfer of wealth, is when you fucking gift subs. Even the gamers have better taste without Red Scare propaganda. Of players worldwide voted. I love you and hate you with the same intensity. Why? What the fuck? Not a two-minute ad break? No, I'm only giving you a one-minute ad break. It's all good. Poverty has gone up 
So, so seventeen. Let me get this straight. George, you think that you looting is o is looting okay if there's no if there's no hurricane? First of all, property. Can you break I don't, into no, but, but, tweeters but whenever you want. We're talking. I, I, Bill vehemently disagree with the Ukraine coverage and went down the D to Lawrence on the problem. Okay, dude. I have no problem with theft. May I be honest? No with problem. You? With I have theft. no problem with theft. <laughs> It's true. I know. There's no, if there's no hurricane. 17. George, you think that you looting is, o is looting okay if there's no, if there's no hurricane? First of all, property. Can you break I into no, but, tweeters but, but, whenever you want? We're talking I, I, I about have no problem with theft. May I be honest? No problem. Ah! I have no problem with theft. That's crazy. How many fucking conservatives who love George Carlin shat on me for saying exactly this, by the way? Word for fucking word. Bar for fucking bar, bitch. Straight up. How many fucking conservatives are like, uh -huh, Bill, Bill, uh, George Carlin would be a conservative if he was alive today, if he was alive today. Motherfucker, he's saying the exact same shit that I say all the fucking time. It's true. I know. But wait a sec. We're talking, looting, we're not saying, you know, the, this reminds me of the OJ situation. It wasn't that OJ was innocent. We all knew he killed his wife. Okay? It's, it's not that looting is good. We all know looting is bad. It's the priorities. It's the fact that white people obsessed on one black guy getting away with a crime once when it had worked in reverse a billion what times What the fuck? Yo, Bill, what? Spitting, dude, what? What is happening, dude? <laughs> I told you, Bill, the fucking, Bill is the OG 9-11 Andy. Like, Bill Maher is the OG 9-11 Andy. For those of you who don't know, he says some fucking shit that I would have a hard time saying, okay? The moment you turn 60, you just become racist straight up. God damn, dude. I mean, what the fuck? He just, he's right. The same way they're obsessing about a few people getting away We're in the middle of this much bigger crisis. It's, it's a matter of what's proportional. I think that's what we're saying about looting. No one is defending looting. Well, George is defending looting, but I have no, it, I have no stake I, in it. I have I, no I, stake I, in the outcome. I think, I, th I, think <laughs> I think one of the things that happened in New Orleans was something that I think every American should fear in similar circumstances. And anybody who went through, let's say, the blackout in New York understands this, which is a breakdown in order. That's something you need to fear. The idea of mobs, whatever their race is, Coming down to your neighborhood. Let me just play Bill Maher's greatest hit for a second, okay? We'll, we'll get back to this in a moment. On Politically Incorrect, the show that once followed this one, he made this infamous comment less than a week after 9-11. We have been the cowards lobbing cruise missiles from 2,000 miles away. Absolutely. That's cowardly. That, that is a Staying cowardly. Staying in the airplane yes. when it hits the building. That is Say what cowardly. you want about it, not you know, cowardly. A week after 9-11, he said that. Bro, a week after 9-11? Are you kidding me? If Bill Maher was Muslim, he would have been executed on site. He would not be able to... They would not have allowed him to walk out of that building. Someone would have fucking pulled a 9, okay? They straight up would have executed him, probably on camera. He's not wrong. He's not fucking wrong. But if he was Muslim, I swear to God, bro, they would have fucking killed him literally on sight banging down your door stealing what you have whether you stole it from the poor or not which i think is oh dude oh dude always you got to personalize the fucking violence yeah dude it's the same cuz i'm target i'm mr target it's the same hey what if these scary black guys came down your door and and knocked at your door and like actually hurt you physically okay subjected you to physical violence how about that huh it's like oh is that am i target am i right aid Am I Walgreens? That's crazy. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Didn't realize I was a fucking big franchise, dude. Uh, also, exactly the same fucking dumbass shit that some of these gray name chatters say all the goddamn time. Nonsense. This is something to worry about. It is something serious that we should worry about. A breakdown in order. And that's what happened in New Orleans. Jim, I can is, tell you that, that because not, I have friends who underwent it. That is not what happened oh, it in is. New Orleans. There Read is, the New Yorker magazine there this is week. A lot, it is what happened in New Orleans. Jim, there were so Armed many rumors. Gangs. There were so many rumors about this riots in shelters in Baton Rouge, about rapes of small children. Even the police chief in Baton Rouge was moved to stand up and tell 
while his citizens, who were frightened to death, they are standing three hours in line in front of a gun shop to buy guns because those thugs from New Orleans are now in our city. It didn't happen. Much of what you believe happened didn't happen. But once you see, once yeah, many... all of those stories were fake, by the way. What a fucking disgusting freak media cir circus that we have, by the way. What a fucking bunch of disgusting little fucking goobers that, like, they saw, they saw millions of black people getting fucking hurt in a natural disaster. They saw a fucking lack of government interference, okay? The government taking sweet-ass time to fucking take action. And the first thing that they did was, how do we fucking find a way to vilify black people in this circumstance? Never let a good crisis go to fucking waste, dude. Holy shit. Now, of course... Many things have not changed. They still do this sort of shit, okay, all the fucking time. Maybe not as overtly as time changes. Yeah, and fuck Chris Kyle, of course, that fucking piece of shit. I mean, we lived through a similar scenario. Why do you think so many fucking people are so psychotic about, like... What do you think... Why do you think so many people are so psychotic about fucking crime? Oh my god, crime is happening in my doorstep. Crime is happening in my fucking doorstep. Oh my god. Black people are coming in. They're fucking they're hurting us. Whatever. Blah, blah, blah. It's like, yeah, because the, during the Black Lives Matter protests that were happening, the understandable and justified rage that people felt about being subjected to so much ritualistic abuse at the hands of a fucking police state and its unaccountable jackbooted thugs, of course that, that retaliation was going to be scary. And instead of understanding why that rage erupted in this country, okay, and trying to examine it and trying to solve that issue, they turned around and were like, yeah, dude, this is, this is crazy. Look at them being violent. White people see a few, a very few black men who are lawless then the entire country I, is I, under I, attack. Frankly, I mean, I don't know what's wrong with me, but I don't care what their race is. If they are, if they are banging down doors of houses, if they are burning, if they are looting people's houses, but that's they ought to be stopped. Excuse me, but that's what's so sort of, nutty about that. That, that seems is like the, the most problem. obvious. When you that, say, that I don't like, care what their... That is always what these kind of commentators say. I don't care what their race is, yeah. as if things were even to begin with. Bill O'Reilly and his ilk are saying things like, you know what? If you just would have gotten an education, you wouldn't be in this situation. Yeah. As if it's easy to get an education in situations where there's so, many, there's so much segregation. I, I, Bill, I completely agree with you on that score. I think the education system in New Orleans is atrocious. The public housing system in New Orleans is... Which is why we got to privatize it, is what he's going to say. Oh, my God, dude. How do you...